Hey, Brother Hill here. What's going on, fam? Checking in with another video. Wanted to share with you guys our follow-up on Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Give everyone love, not destruction. Today, we is covering Leviticus, the L. The L is for love. God is love. He loves everybody. Now, we know if we hadn't done our research or read through scripture on Leviticus, that basically covers a series of different things. Uh, mainly, uh, after they come out of the desert, he was pretty much laying the law down on things, major things, what they should eat, how to cleanse their skin, uh, to keep, you know, uh, from diseases, things like that, the bodily discharges, rules for the day of atonement, rules about animal blood, rules about sexual relations, miscellaneous laws, punishment, and horrible sins, marriage rules for priests, behaviors around sacrifices, and uh, defining festivals, and so on down the line. So with that being said, God is, again, you're going to hear me say this a lot, the manufacturer of us, human beings, children of light, his image and likeness, you know, a spirit in a dirt suit. So he knows was good for us, he knows what's bad for us. So we got our own personal physician, manufacturer, our heavenly father, our king, right? So love, that youthfulness that people are all looking for, that they're striving to get, going down to the Dr. Miami, ladies, <laughs> to go and get tuned and touched up. It's all broken down, really, in Leviticus, if you pay attention to how God breaks stuff down. Now, whether we do this is completely up to us. I'm not saying that you got to do it all the way, but, you know, to each his own. Nobody's putting a knife to your head, but you can look and read through this as a reference point and see the love that a father has for his children, or a manufacturer has for his product as he is sharing the information, the insight on the uh, functioning details to get the maximum effective and efficient quality out of his product. You follow what I'm saying? And this, again, is up to us to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take God's advice on what he say because he know me better than I know me because he made me. So you see all of that, you know, things to keep you right within your age, that youthfulness, you know, and again, it gives you the do's and the don'ts uh, from the source, you know, which again, God is our ultimate creator. He is the physician. Things to keep the body purified and free of toxins, especially nowadays, man. It's, oh, man, so much advertisement around, you know, the need to feed on everything. Food, sugar, sodas, alcohol, drugs, uh, medical and recreational use, sexual relations. I mean, like, the stage has been set if people are <laughs> not paying attention to what's going on. But, um... God don't allow us to just go through life without knowing what's going on. We have to make it our, our, our priority to really get in tune with what he said so we can protect ourselves and protect other people. Because believe it or not, uh, the things that we do, it don't just affect us. Yeah, but he knows my life. I can do this. Okay. A young lady going down to Miami, going to get set up with Dr. Miami and get herself touched up. Boom. Now she just knocked off, not even knowing because of her body and the way that it is built eternally from the creator. Okay, what you did, you just altered the lifespan of your body, if you think about it. Because some stuff that you went and got enhanced and moved and nipped and tucked from here to put here, here, all of that serve as a purpose. Again, but we get given over to our own fleshly desires and sins because that's what we want to do, you know? So we rebel against what the Father said because we just want to do what we want to do. And then we suffer the consequences and we're like, oh, Lord, help me, please. Like, where they do that at? Obviously, here on this earth, people who have no sense or who don't know their left hand from their right hand are just, again, have been bamboozled, man. And I used to live like that. You're going to hear me say that a lot because I was set free from that mental prison. 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 Sorry. <laughs> you know, you really are in prison. But the gates of full-on blown destruction is wide open for you to get in. But if you are living in the spirit and are guided by the spirit, 
You'll see everything and know what to do and how to do in your everyday life. That's what this is about. So, yes, God, man, this is, again, Leviticus. This is a book of love. A lot of people may read this book and think, oh, man, God too strict. Oh, man, God, like a parent that, oh, man, don't go here. You can't go there. Be in the house at this time. I want you to watch this. But I'm building character, man. Building character. All of this is for development within you because I, the man, and know that, you need to be operating at max capacity, which will bring fulfillment to you, happiness to me, and benefit everybody as a whole who are around you. You dig what I'm saying? I'm building models off of you guys, off of you. Yes, you, you know, me, myself, other people in the community. This is a family thing. This is a, a, a worldly village of people who have been misled, misguided, manipulated perverted, but have been given restoration, redemption, and restore rights through Jesus Christ, because <laughs> he paid the price. So it's our, again, responsibility to want to stay in alignment with him and want to do what's right, because it resembles our Father. We are not in his physical presence. We're not in heaven. We're not in the kingdom per se, with the Father. We are in the colony, the extension of the kingdom. And we're supposed to represent our, our parents well. It's no different from when you left the house every day to go to school. You know, and I know some people's background with that is a little bit uh, loftier than others. But whenever you leave the house, or left the house, even if you're on a job and you representing your employer, you got uniforms, whatever. You are to represent at the highest, most up, you know, the most utmost respectfulness, basically. That shows that, okay, that this individual who I come from, these people who I live with, my guardians, my uh, parents, whoever, my employee, man, these people, they represent, I'm representing y'all well. You know, y'all pull into me, y'all take care of me, you help me, you provide me. Okay, it's the same with the Father. The Father, thank you. You're giving me breath. You're giving me life, Jesus. You died for me. You're giving me blood for atonement, for salvation. I am free. My mind is not underneath bondage. It is not underneath strength. That's why God says, okay, my kingdom. Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world. It's in the world, but it's not of the world. My people, they hear my voice, and then they respond. They follow, and they listen to me. Jesus' famous words is, the truth shall set you free. Not a rent payment, not spinning wheels, not a body job from Dr. Miami, not a hundred grand in a caravan, not a couple bricks, some keys, some dope, or some coke, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Some information that you receive between your ears from a loving father is going to set you free from all of the lies and the manipulation that are out around you. To what? Keep you in bondage. The devil don't want you to know nothing about the kingdom. He don't want you to know what it's like living in the kingdom. Excuse me. He don't want you to know nothing about power that you have as a kingdom citizen. So when we read books like Leviticus and we see all the do's and the don'ts, take heart to that. Take heart to that. That's God looking out for us. Or rather, if you follow it to the letter or not, that's your business. Right? But all I'm saying or communicating to you is that. The love is there. The information is there. It's yours for the taking. You know, I just use this one book to just show the love that God has because some people, they may look at it and look down on it. And that's what I'm doing throughout the rest of the books. Going through it, all this already been written, been prophesied, been fulfilled. Some people, they, they may not read the Bible. I don't have the right people around them to help them understand it. I delight in things like that, you know. But again, don't just take my word for it. Read it. Go through and look at it yourself. The same people who I learned from, you know, I went back and double checked all of the stuff that they were talking about for myself. And I've always been like that, especially on the job, working in the uh, line of work that I work in because I work with explosives, work with a lot of hazardous, inflammable chemicals and you're just out there in the elements, and there's a lot of strenuous things that can take place and things that can go wrong quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I've seen people listen to other people, not double-checking other people. I myself have been a victim of that and gotten a bond. 
Oh, well, so-and-so said, but no, nah, man, you own shit. This is your 12 hours. This is your crew. This is your time to be in charge. You're supposed to already go back and check and make sure. That's what the whole pre-job meeting is about and doing your warrants over us before you even come on deck. You come on deck, sign a safety meeting stuff, walk around out there while they still out there. This is within 30 minutes of coming on shift. Then you go back inside and have your meeting and discuss plans for it. So now nah, that's your fault. So again, we got the we got the information. We got the time. Because if you're alive, you got time. And you got the willpower to submit, obey. And you get the wisdom. If you pray to the Father, he said, if you pray for ask for wisdom, he will not rebuke you. You need that. Be able to comprehend what you read. To be around like-minded people. Let him lead you. The spirit of truth will lead you into all truth. And it'll help you. So yeah, man, yeah. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. You know, the book of Leviticus. Again, I like the, I've dubbed that one. <laughs> the book of love. All of it is love. You know, because again, God is a giver. He pulls his love into us. Tell us that in John 3, 16, that he so loved the world. And remember, men. How would you feel if somebody was trying to hit on your lady? Or somebody was trying to sell your lady some spoil food? Or somebody trying to take advantage of your lady? You feel upset, you'll be burnt, you know, sizzling. You know, you'd be wanting to come across somebody's head. You know, man, don't play on my lady like that. Man, it's my woman, you know. Step up, my man, look, be cool. You know, this ain't even for me and you, you know, don't come at us like this, whatever. Okay, the church is a woman, the name Ecclesia or Ecclesia, however you want to pronounce it. Jesus is the king. He presents all of us, the body, the whole body, all of us, one individual, play a major part. And the devil is like that guy that's trying to play on the on the lady, right? You'll be hurt. You'll be wanting to do some serious damage. You'll be wanting to look, man, fight, back up, whatever. Okay, so as us as a whole, as Ecclesia, we have to have that mindset. Yeah, I got my personal lady, my wife, my family, but still, as a whole, we're one body. And that's putting the focus off of ourselves, being independent, just looking out for me and putting it on Christ. Because we want to do what's right in his eyesight. We want to bring honor to him. We want to look good and represent him well and be able to, you know, Fight off evil. He's given us the 007 license to kill. Scriptures of uh, command. I've given you power to try to blow with snakes and scorpions and all of this stuff, right? Handle business. Y'all got all of the information. Y'all got the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Y'all got all of the blueprints, all of the cheat codes. What's the problem? You know? I learned the other day. God, uh, Jesus sat down at the right hand of God. Kings only sit down when things are back in order. Kingdom talk now. I ain't talking religious talk. I learned that from my brother Miles, man, who studied this stuff indefinitely, in detail, who was living under a kingdom. And it took me almost 18 years to realize that the industry that I'm working in is exactly how a kingdom is built. It has certain characteristics of a kingdom the environment that I live in and work in because I live on my job. Like we go out and we stand, it's built on principles, just like a king, exactly like a kingdom, somewhat. And I'm like, man, I get it. Cause I was trying to get out of it. I'm like, man, look, this ain't for me. I, you know, I had got complacent rather. I had got my fill. You know, sitting on a lot of money. I'm good. You know, I got a lady I'm trying to have another kid. Da, 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 da. I went to make my own plans, like God said. Many other plans in a person's heart. <laughs> what is the Lord's plan for that individual's life that will prevail, you know? And he tell you, man, he is the Lord. He's gonna do everything that he pleases, you know. They call it you rebels. <laughs> so yeah. And at that point, when I was making decisions like that, life-altering decisions, I didn't really, I didn't understand why my purpose of being in the oil field was there. And that said, you know, I never had dawned on it. 
they never hit me. I never had the revelation, right? And it wasn't until after I had my corrective discipline to be back redirected in that industry. And then that's when the revelation started to come. After all of that stuff that I had in my way, all of my plans that I planned were uh, reduced to rubble and started over. Then that's when, you know, <laughs> I could hear and see clearly the truth started to set me free. So that's why I understand the Bible when I read it. I understand Dr. Monroe clearly when he speaks now. I understand things when I go to work now. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. So I take that, boom, and I share it with y'all. I share it with you guys. And it's so, so much, so much, man. We'll have a good time on this channel. We will. And I got a lot of info to share. But uh, y'all be blessed. I just wanted to hop on and uh, share that with you guys, man. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.